As you are gearing up to get started on making your house a beautiful looking home, you will need to choose the right tools for the job. So let's run through what's best to use where and the skills required to achieve the best possible results. Your standard two pieces of kit that you're going to need are a brush and a roll. Now you use a brush for cutting in around the edges of walls and ceilings and for any woodwork and window frames. But for covering large surfaces like the walls and ceilings, the best option is to use a roller, which is going to be three times faster than any brush. Now, as a rule of thumb, a high quality brush or roller will give you a much finer finish overall. A typical problem of value brushes is splaying bristles, which will make it very difficult to get a precise finish and sometimes the bristles can come off altogether. It can be very frustrating to have to pick off stray bristles from the drying walls, which will spoil the overall finish of your newly painted room. If you buy a better quality brush, you will find the filaments are longer, making it easier to use, and you're going to get better layoff from your paint. There's less bristle loss, and the handle will have been designed to fit in your hand more comfortably, which overall will give you better control and help you improve techniques like cutting in. Synthetic brushes are designed to give you a fine finish with water-based paints. They hold their shape for precise cutting in and they don't absorb too much water, meaning they won't swell, leaving you with an uneven or streaky finish. A natural bristle brush is great for oil-based paints, providing a really fine finish. Natural bristles are perfect for picking up paint with their uneven surface and split tips, which give you a beautifully smooth finish. You can also use a brush with a combination of synthetic filament and natural bristles for a good finish across all types of paint. On to rollers then. Now generally there are three types of roller fabric. Knitted polyester, woven polyester and microfiber. The knitted sleeve loads the paint quickly and gives good coverage. It's more likely to spray though and can leave you with an uneven finish. Now this is sometimes known as the orange peel effect where the paint hasn't gone on perfectly smooth. Now a better option would be the home base performance sleeve. It's woven polyester for quick coverage and it's going to give you a finer finish. Or for an exceptionally smooth finish use a microfiber sleeve. It absorbs a lot of paint so you spend less time reloading your roller. Now both of these rollers will splatter less than the value sleeve. Start with your ceilings and walls before you tackle any woodwork. Always cut in first. Dip a 50mm brush into your paint up to one third of the bristle length. Hold the brush at 90 degrees to the ceiling and paint a straight line cutting into the corner between the walls and the ceiling. Turn the brush parallel to the ceiling and go over the first stroke firmly and steadily, keeping the bristles close to but not touching the ceiling. This should be repeated along the bottom and top of the walls and then into the corners. Another handy tip is to put an elastic band over the top of your paint tin to wipe off any excess from the brush in between strokes. Now this will also help to keep the edges of your paint tin clean now for the roller. Before you start, you could cover the tray with some cling film or foil and that way once you finish painting, you can remove it, throw it away and the tray will stay clean. When using the roller, start with diagonal strokes, then horizontal and then finish with your vertical. The aim is to apply the paint evenly and always work from a wet edge. The edges need to be blended in to avoid leaving a ridge of paint. For hard to reach areas such as high ceilings, use a long handled extension pole and this should make your job a little bit easier. Finally then, caring for your tools so that you can use them again. Firstly, brush or roll off as much paint as you can onto paper so there's less to wash off. If it was an oil based paint, soak your roller or brush in white spirit before rinsing it in warm water. If you used a water based paint, you can just rinse off the paint with water till it's all been removed and the water runs clear. Dry your brushes and rollers with paper towels and then pop them back into their original packaging to keep them in good condition. In the case of your brushes, if you've thrown away the original packaging, then don't worry. You can simply wrap the dry brushes in card and secure this with an elastic band and then this will help to protect your bristles. So there you go. Thanks for watching this home base how to video on painting your home. Hopefully you've picked up a few tips and you're keen to get started. So best of luck and happy painting. <laughs>